hello, hello, hello. We've got massive news after the drop marketing for the Harta for 3.0. We now have the drop marketing for a new character. And we have a lot to talk about here. They have a they have a huge thing in store. So let's first start with the description of the character. And four years a saga of heroes, Aglea. O oh, noble guest from afar, the wind brought me news of you along the golden threads. My name is Aglea, the dress master of Okema, and one of Amphorus's Chrysos heirs. Chrysos heirs? I hope we treat each other with honesty. Aglea, weaver of gold. In that holy city kissed by the dawn, the weaver caresses the golden thread and connects destiny. Aglea, the gold weaver, the Chrysos heir bearing the cold flame of romance, shall summon the heroes of this world and lead them to once again embark on an endless, endless journey, where they will smite down the gods, return the divine fire, and grant rebirth to the dying land of Amphorus. City Okema, divine authority, Nestia, Chrysalis of Gold. So what I find very interesting here is that we have a city and a divine authority. Did we get anything similar in previous drop marketing? Uh, drip marketing, sorry. Like here for Herta, there was like nothing like this. So I wonder if this means that like in the three point X patches, maybe we'll be able to travel through different cities and maybe each, there is gonna be like a major character in every single city and all of them is gonna have a divine authority and maybe all of them are gonna be representative of, of their cities. So I, I wonder, um, also, because at the quick glance, there's very clearly some, you know, Roman uh, or even like Greek, uh, either or, um, inspiration with the way she looks and obviously the background. We have the pillars here, the column, the aqueduct. There's a lot of things going on here. So is this going to be a kind of like tournament or some kind of conflict between the various divine authorities? I'm very, very curious about that. Now, let's look at the design itself. I've opened it up over here and the character is Mwah. So the first thing I want to talk about, obviously, the rarity. She is a five star character. She's an electro character. And most importantly, there it is. There it is. We finally have confirmation. We are getting a new element. And that element is of a symbol that we know we've seen already in various simulated universe. And it is remembrance so she is going to be most likely the first remembrance character unless we get a very i feel like if they're making a new element it's very likely that the protagonist the main character is gonna get that element so i assume that the um tra the trailblazer is gonna have a remembrance form right um, so unless we get Remembrance MC incredibly early in the in the story and we get them like right away in 3.0, uh, even th it's possible that Aglea is technically not the first Remembrance character, but at the very least she's the first one being drip marketed, right, as a premium uh, on battle character. Now, in terms of how she looked design-wise, I already gave my, my thoughts on how she, she looks and the inspiration that is very clear here. Um, what I find very interesting, obviously, is the fact that like she's a Thunder character, but she seems to be holding a flame. So this gives me vibe of the Olympic flame, maybe, right? Uh, because of like the, the, sem the thematic here. But who knows, like the, maybe the flame of Olympus, whatever, whatever you call it. And um, we see a lot of mannequins. Obviously, um, the mannequins, they, they are threads. They are going un they're being unwoven here to some extent or being currently woven into their arms. It's kind of hard to tell. It could be either or. There's a lot of like beautiful, beautiful robes. The dresses are incredible. We have the, the laurel on, on the head here. Very, um, absolutely stunning character. Stunning design. Um, every time I see a character similar to this girl, it always reminds me, I know it's kind of out of pocket, but it reminds me of uh, Soul Calibur, uh, Sophia and Cassandra. <laughs> uh, 
uh, it reminds me of them. That's a uh, man. That's uh, the blast from the past. Anyway, um, so I think she looks absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, from the story here, it says that she's a weaver, right? Uh, a dress master, the dress master of Okema, the weaver. So she's clearly someone that makes clothes. And that's, uh, oh my gosh, she, she's the theory of uh, HSR. So um, that explains the mannequin and uh, the clothes she's putting on there. At first, uh, at first glance, I was thinking of, uh, you know, like the kind of uh, mannequin puppet enemies that you can find um, in Pinacone. So I was thinking maybe she's tied to Pinacone. But no, it's just because it functions with um, her profession, essentially, right? So now, all of that being said, um, there was another line that was very interesting to me here, and it was, You shall summon the heroes of this world. Lead them to again embark on an endless journey. So, what I'm wondering here is, first of all, summon, obviously, we know that there has been, you know, a potential push or a preparation for a potential summon meta or summon characters at the very least. Um, and I, I could see her being able to either summon those mannequins to fight for her, or maybe she can summon some clothes or weave clothes to buff her teammates. It's really hard to say because obviously it's a new path, and so we don't have any basis to figure out what kind of kid they might have. It's, it's going to be tough to speculate. I could see her either summoning those or being a kind of buffer, so like a kind of harmony character with a twist on it. Um, that would be uh, my thoughts on the topic. Um, but I feel like a buffer would be too simple for a brand new path, and I think they're going to maybe Remembrance is going to be the summoner path, right? It kind of makes sense because uh, the path of remembrance is remembering its memory, it's bringing forth something from the past, bringing forth something new, right? And uh, because if you look at Black Swan, etc., they, they can actually um, take physical form and this kind of stuff, even though they are made of memoria, uh, technically speaking. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, they're like mimetic entities. Uh, so I wonder, I, I feel like this should be these, the main summon path. Maybe it's possible that other paths are going to have characters that have summons, but I feel like this is going to be the, the big quote-unquote gimmick. At least for now, for the start, right? So I'm quite interested, very, very curious to, to see what she can do. Uh, but also I'm seizing because I'm skipping Sunday because I, I want to pull for Fugue. We got the Harta, and now we got the Glea. And um, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough three banners in a row. I'd intended to pull for a Fugue and the Harta and probably one of the Lycones, but I might have to just try to get all three characters. They look too beautiful. I, I don't wanna skip them, but that, that might mean I'm gonna skip Lycones. Anywho, uh, that's my thoughts on her. Absolutely fantastic character. She looks awesome. Um, and I'm uh, looking forward to her. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys, uh, she's, what do you think she's going to be able to do in combat? Do you like her design? Are you excited for a new path? And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.